What is up guys, we've made it today, I'm back. I've got a new video for you and in this video, I'm joined by Lizzie again. Hi guys. And today, what we're gonna be doing is playing a fun game of Never Have I Ever. As you can see guys, we've got our signs here. It says I have, and, well no, yours says Noah. Uh, so as you can see, we've got never and I have, or never and I have, or whatever you want to say. Today we're going to be asking each other questions that you guys sent us on Instagram. And yeah, we're going to ask each other questions, and obviously we're going to reply to them saying I have or I haven't. And yeah, this could get very interesting. But guys, just before you start, if you don't already, make sure you go and follow me and Lizzie both on Instagram. So yeah, make sure you follow us both. We always like back your pictures, so yeah, make sure you spam us and we'll spam you back. Also, just before we start, guys, this week's squad shout-out goes to who? Thomas. Hey. Yes, Thomas Hayes, thank you so much for being in the squad. He's always so active on like, Instagram, always on the YouTube comments here. Yeah, thank you, Thomas, for being in the squad. If you would like to be next week's squad shout, make sure you comment down below saying you're in the squad, what social media platform you should follow me, and also make sure you've got YouTube notifications on so you get notified every single time we upload. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on with the never have I ever. All right, so as I said earlier, guys, we've got the signs. Uh, I have and I haven't. So yeah, we're gonna ask each other these questions and it's pretty self-explanatory, you'll get it if you go along. Right guys, we're gonna start off quite easy. This first one comes in from Neve Field. So Neve Field, and she says, never have I ever skipped school. Um, the answer is, never. No, to be fair, you have skipped school. Like, I haven't like said like, oh mum, I'm going to school and then just gone to like yeah. McDonald's or something. I've always like, if I've gone to school, I've gone to school, but we're both like, oh, I'm so sick, mum, yeah. I feel sick. <laughs> And I had a day off, but really you're fine. The next one comes in from Emily Cliff, and she says, never have I ever injured myself while trying to impress a crush. I'm gonna say I have. I don't know what I was doing, but I'm pretty sure I have. Like, just been doing something stupid to try and be funny, and then it's just hurt me. Stupid stuff like pretend to fall over when I run and actually like, hurt myself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, not nothing like serious. So yeah, I would say I have, but I can't remember anything off the top of my head, and you've never. So the next one comes in from Susie Hamsey, and she says, never have I ever been in a police car. And the answer is, you have. No, you haven't. Yeah, Are I you have. lying? I fully really have. Okay, let's hear the story. How have you been in a police car then? Okay, you know when one of my friends went missing? No, when did this happen? You know yeah. Remember when she went missing in the forest? Alright, so what, did you, what happened in the police car then? We went to her house. Apparently, apparently Liz has been in a police car. I've never been in a police car. Alright, the next one comes in. I'm pretty sure a few people asked this, but the one I've just seen comes in from FXK Becky, and she says, Never have I ever stole something. I have. I have. I, uh, unfortunately, I have. So, what, let's start with Lizzie. What have you stole, Lizzie? I stole everything. I stole things from... Still from from you. All right, how about what about from a shop? Have you ever stole from a shop? Not from like a person, but no. from a shop. No, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I have stole from shops, but <laughs> but I'm not a thief, right? The only thing I steal is plastic bags. Ooh, you're hard. It's like you know when you're at Morrison's oh, or I've Tesco, done that. and you're like <laughs> on the self checkout machine, and you're like beep beep beep. You put your stuff in the bag, and it's like you press finish. It's like how many bags have you used? Obviously you've used like six and you just press zero. Cause they charge like five P for a bag. Like who's gonna pay five P for a plastic bag? Ain't nobody got time for that. Next one comes in from Jacob and he says, never have I ever asked out a girl or boy over Instagram. Also, I'm a big fan of George. Um, <clears throat> never have I ever asked out a girl or boy over Instagram. Um, for me, it's a never. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> I don't ask people out. Um, <laughs> same, you know. <laughs> um, no, but the thing is, when I was at school, no one used Instagram, like it wasn't even a thing, apart from right till the end of school. Um, like Facebook and MSN was more of a thing for me. Have you ever been asked out on Instagram yeah, though? I've been oh, shoot, wait, you've got to put the thing up? <laughs> yeah. You have. Oh, I've never been asked out on Instagram, pretty sad times for me. <laughs> never have I ever licked or bitten my sibling. Now, this isn't just including me, this can include our other two sisters as well. So now, oh. have you ever licked or bitten us? I've, I've never. No, no, <laughs> I haven't. I've never, I've never, never, never. Um, for me, yeah, I mean, why would I? I do think, I'm pretty sure I've been bitten though. I don't know I've been licked. <laughs> when I was younger, I had this thing. If like, Millie, George or Charlotte didn't do anything I wanted, I'd just bite them like so hard. I just go. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I've been bitten and scratched, but never licked. I mean, lick, that's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. All right, this one comes in from Lils, and she says, this is kind of like a follow-up question from the first one. This one says, never have I ever got in trouble with the police. For me, it's a, I have. What about you, never? No. Oh, basically. I got in trouble one time, okay? I was in like year nine or something, and it was a hot day, it was a summer's day, and we're coming back from school, me and my two friends, so there's three of us. And basically the way we walked home from school, we walked across this massive field. And this one day, 
for some reason there was this massive like container there like you know what you ship stuff in and my friend was like i bet you can't climb up that i was like no i probably can't and he was like no no i'll show you so he showed us how to climb up and um, so we climbed up to it and we were sitting on the top and also for some strange reason at this time there was just loads of polystyrene dumped on the floor and also it was right next to this tennis court and it had like a one of them fences that are like cross hatched so me and my friend are sitting at the top and whilst my other friends at the bottom with this polystyrene like grating it on the fence and then we're sitting up there and then I just look across the field and I see a guy walking towards us. I'm like, yo, that's police. So we both jumped down and my friend who was great in the polystyrene dropped it and we ran, we ran like a minute away. And I'm like, oh no, we left our bags on top of the container. So we're like, oh, what do we do now? Like, we just gotta go down and get a, go down and get a bag. So we go down, for some reason, like we could have just got one person to go down and get the bags. Um, but we all went down and the police officer was like, all right lads. And we were like, yeah, 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 just come to get our bags. He was like, what are you doing here then? I was like, oh, we're just sitting on there. He's like, I'm gonna have to take your names. So he took our names, that was so scary, just because I thought I was gonna get a criminal record, even though I wasn't doing anything wrong, literally all I was doing was sitting on a container, but I thought I was breaking the law for some reason. This one's one I made up, no one asked me this. I never have I ever had a detention. Oh wait, no, I have, I have, sorry, wrong thing. I've had so many detentions, literally. So many. When I was in sixth form, genuinely, every single day I was late, so I got a late detention every day. I never went to them, but I still got them. What about I just you? I got them for talking. Yeah, the I've never been late from year seven, and you're right, I've never once been late. Yeah, the thing about me, mine were never for like being naughty, like mine were just for like being lazy, like I wouldn't do my homework, I'd be late for school. Whereas yours you're like talking, talking in class and stuff yeah. so so the next one just comes in from a website and it is never have i ever fallen asleep in the cinema i have only once to, to be fair i was on a school trip uh, in germany and we went to the cinema and watched the worst film literally i'd been on a flight since like four o'clock in the morning and then we got there, dropped us off the hotel and i went to this cinema with the school and we literally was watching this film called the zookeeper and I literally, was it in German? No, it was in English, but it was, it was, I wish it was in German, it probably would have been better. It was so boring, literally. Um, but yeah, literally fell asleep. That's the only time I think I've ever fell asleep in the cinema, though. All right, so a reversal on that one. Never have I ever fallen asleep in class, like at school. For me, never, never. I don't think it's possible for me. What, when was you doing? My teacher, just like, her voice is so boring. She um, was reading something. It was only for like five minutes. Literally, I've tried to, like, you know, you just go like that, but... I honestly can't, like, I just hear stuff going on and I just can't fall asleep, so. All right, guys, so this last question comes in from Josh Wilkinson. He says, never have I ever thought I was going to die. Well, I'm going to say I have, but not in real, I think in a dream I thought I was going to die and then I, like, woke up. But I don't think I've ever thought I was going to die in real life because I don't think I've ever been in that much pain. What about you? I have because I was in just the bathroom over there and I was... Oh, yeah, this was, this was like, three months ago or yeah. so. I was trying to get something out of the top cabinet and then just stepped down and then I smashed my head on the cupboard and blood was gushing everywhere. Like, not just a little bit of blood, like, everywhere. And literally, I thought I was going to die. And it doesn't help she had blonde hair. Literally, all her blonde hair had gone red. It was yeah. disgusting. So, yeah, that, to be fair, that was quite bad. So, but yeah, guys, that is all the Never Have I've got today. I hope you did enjoy. If you don't already, make sure you follow us both on Instagram. As I said, we're going to both do live shows very soon. But, yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Comment down below what you thought. Comment down below some of the ones we both said never to if you've done them. But, yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been George Mason. Over. <laughs>